Hey folks, I can see you have some questions about the double impact the sun has in store for Earth later this week. I'll start with what I said in the morning show. Even combined, a coronal hole stream and C7 eruption is not going to bring down the global grids, even with Earth's weakening magnetic field as it is. I do expect strong geomagnetic storms and some electrical issues. People have been asking, what side of Earth will be facing the sun when it hits, and there are a few things we need to address there. First, there is no way of knowing. Even if you try to watch the endless spirals closely, NASA's and NOAA's don't usually agree. There is a stated margin of error, and even then, it's all best guess and sometimes very wrong. But in this case, it mostly matters only for less vital issues, the meteorological ones. Pressure cells would intensify under the compressed field during the impact, and a sharp decrease in the expected cloud cover and opacity. Otherwise, the sun-facing side is definitively less important. There are no proton events with this eruption, so no scary radiation bombardment is coming to the atmosphere, and it's about a thousand times too weak to compress Earth's field to scary L-shell levels. What we do have is the risk from geomagnetic induction. The airline problems, PlayStation Network, electrical fires, GPS glitches, communication, rail systems, traffic systems, and this cares not for which side of Earth is facing the sun. That is because geomagnetic induction is a global effect triggered by the CME impact and coupling with the Earth's magnetic field. The currents run through the atmosphere and the ground and even make it to the mantle. This is what overloads transformers, what resets large-scale systems, what triggers shed loads and shutdowns. It will be significant if we get two distinct impacts, but not the kind of thing that turns the world's eye just yet. If it does take out things at the grid level, it would mean that our field has had another acceleration and a big one, likely with the 2020 geomagnetic jerk, and the world probably wouldn't make it through the solar cycle if that was the case. Again, not a lot of evidence to entertain that at this point. Everything I've mentioned from the weather effects to the technology, plus these solar effects on human health and seismicity can be found in our textbook at otf.cells.com. I will see you in the morning for the daily update. The impacts will not have happened by then, but we will likely see at least one of the two expected impacts before Thursday's show. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.